Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising monthly tower reading September 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump uh, right into it. Right, so the first card which represents the topic, the theme of your month, this is going to be the Page of Wands, followed by the next one which stands for the peripheral activities that you can go for here, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. By the way, these under peripheral activities, I mean things that you can go for, you know, should you decide it is worth the hassle. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome. This is going to be the Seven of Swords. Then it is the positive aspect of the month here. That is going to be the Justice card. And then the last one, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Strength card. Well, there are no surprises here with the Strength card. That is because uh, it seems that uh, this uh, this month you are going to go against a, a lot of people's opinion, all right? That is because you will decide to, um, or you have the option to decide to side with a specific individual that which part, ideas, you know, and in general, strives are exactly contrary to the others that you are associating with. You know, for example, that could be this person you you can be with, all right? He, he or she tells you that they want to be with you, all right? But your family does not approve them, okay? So it's it's like going against the opinion of, 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 the, of the current. I don't know how to say it in English, you know? This tatukvo, at least this is the word in our country, in my native language but I don't know it in English. It may be the same, it may be the same uh, word, you know, but it's it's like going with, against the, the um, yeah, the opinion of the current of those that have a influence in your life. So before we go into all that and see how this is gonna play out, let's uh, run the cards down one, one more time. So we do have the page of ones, which stands for the uh, topic, the, the main theme of your month, Afterwards is going to be the Ten of Swords, which represents the peripheral activities that you can go for. Then it is the um, <clears throat> Seven of Swords, which stands for the challenge. Afterwards, it is the, the uh, Justice card, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one that we do have is going to be uh, the Strength card, which represents the Guidance. All right, so we do have that person here, Page of Wands. So it's a very um, enterprising, youthful in spirit. It doesn't have to be a young, you know, but youthful in spirit person who has those kind of like a... Uh, well, basically, he doesn't like to be told what to do, okay? And uh, very often is provoked to do exactly what, they are, what the rest thinks, okay? So 
like said, if uh, your family doesn't like this one, well, they may decide, well, the hell with it, you know, I'm going to be in a relationship with their son or with their daughter, but they can, and, and they can do whatever they want. The thing is that this, uh, this page of ones, it's um, like said, doesn't like to, uh, doesn't like to be told what to do. It feels very under pressure and despondent when has to, um, kind of play by the rules of somebody else's game and in the same time it's very like said enterprising it's it's ready to offer brand new things to you leo to work with like a new relationships you know new ideas for your business and etc etc <clears throat> now you need to know that even though they may look like a um, how do i say it they may look like uh, nothing can really touch them. That person is extremely, extremely fragile from within. Okay, it's just this is a uh, this is a poker face a shell. It is like a uh, defensive mechanism they have. Like pff, they don't give a crap, but they do. So be careful how you. If you uh, if you have something for this one, you know, and you don't want to, uh, and you kind of like hold on into them. Um, do not say something that you cannot take back uh, afterwards. Additionally, the page, uh, the main reason why the page comes around is that to make you uh, understand how strong you are on your own, in the sense of that you don't need to oblige, for example, with your family anymore, you know, and to uh, play their rules or with your friends and etc. etc. But you can now get grasp upon your life and give it a direction as such as you want. The accompanying card here is going to be the Six of Swords. It's exactly what we're talking about. This, it's not even a detachment, it's more like a uh, mm, traversing this threshold that you couldn't up until now because you are all alone into it, all right? And now you have the, the this person who helps you to uh, to do it, this person who is going to be your companion. For example, another example I will give you here, guys, is that let's say that you want to uh, leave your job, all right, or you're feeling very unhappy in your job and this person comes around and offers you to start business with you. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. They probably left their job very recently, okay, but they're going to make that point that if you don't do something with with yourself, no one else is gonna do it for you, all right? So that's the whole point here of the month. You experiencing this adventure with the page of uh, wands. It could be the person for, into your relationship, you know, that go against anybody or everybody around you, you know, uh, to make the, the, the whole thing more exciting and etc. etc. But the thing is that if you are not strong enough to oppose, uh, the page cannot oppose um, instead of you. Okay, so yeah, the page may want to be with you in a relationship, but if you cannot oppose the opinion of your friends about him or of your family about him, you know, the, the, the page cannot do it for you. So that, that will be as well the challenge, but we're going to talk about the challenge in a minute. So let's see about the peripheral activities here that is going to be the Ten of Swords. So um, Ten of Swords is actually a very positive card in this case, pointing that you do have a choice or rather like it is, uh, it, it doesn't have to go in a very warmongery fashion, kind of like uh, putting it as a... Uh, put, uh, putting the whole thing as a, if either is going to be him or something else, right? Or her or something else. Here, yes, it is easy for you to break ties with the past, you know, for example, with your family here saying, well, okay, I'm going to be with this person no matter what, and I don't want to hear from you anymore. You know, you can go for that, definitely. That is the peripheral activity. But as this is a conditional card, you can go for that. Uh, you may not go for that either. And it's going to be more difficult, all right? And you will have to be more um, peaceful when it comes to tackling with the opposition here. But at the end of the day, you can definitely achieve a mutual common ground and mutual peace into all that. The accompanied card is going to be the king, the queen of swords formation. It is a active supporters that we do have. And you definitely have the intelligence and the... Um, emancipating nature you know and the the, uh, the experience as well to rely on and to draw from 
so you can make the things to happen in such a way that nobody suffers at the end, okay? Neither you, nor, uh, nor for example, your family, nor your friends, nor your co-workers as well, and etc., etc. It's just you need to approach the whole thing, the whole environment there with a, a certain portion of, portion of calculation, premeditation as well, and draw from your previous experience of poignant situations. Because these two cards are representing that you do had a similar experience back in the days, you know, and you can draw significant uh, experience from it and incorporate it into the current situation. So the challenge is going to be the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords, excuse me. So with the Seven of Swords, the challenge is to show your strong backbone, to slam upon the table and to say, no, I will do what I want, I will do what I feel is best for me, I will from now on uh, uh, fight my battle and not your battle. It's important here to acknowledge that you need to storm your situation, you know, you need to demand for, your, for what you have been owed, you need to stand for your personal rights. Meaning, you know, that yeah, your fami family gave you life, but it is your life, that is just for example. And you get to decide what to do with it, not them. That is just for, for, for example. Yeah, your boss may be paying you a, a salary, all right? But just because they are paying you a salary, that doesn't mean that they own your soul, all right? And so for that reason, for this salary, you do only what you have signed for and nothing, nothing less, nothing more. You need to stand for your right throughout the months. The accompanied card is going to be the Tree of Cups and like I said, against the people's opinion, people aren't going to understand what you're doing. We do have a active neutrals here <clears throat> and uh, some of them will want to be a, a, like you, all right, to have the courage to do it. But in the same time, they will they will not see the reason behind it because it's go it, it is much more easier to just, you know, lay your head and be lower than the grass. So with these cards, the challenge is gonna be rough. It's no different than opposing this bully, you know, in, in the school when we were uh, when we were teenagers, or it's no different to, to stand in front of such people and oppose them that are having a significant um, significant influence into our life and detach from that from that influence hoping that the page will offer us, uh, you know, something better and can, but the best thing that happens here, Leo, is that you will going to, uh, like I said, understand that you can live without that influence. The next one is going to be the positive aspect, and that will be the, um, the, the justice card, right? So the justice card um, tells us that you are going to be very subtle with uh, forming your strategy. Strategy in the sense of the, what, when you make that move to stand for your own rights, of course, you will not have that, um, that influence upon your life that pulls strings, but in the same time, you won't have as well the resources that influence came with. All right. And so without those resources, you will start arranging your responsibilities, the tasks ahead as well. And it's kind of like arranging your new life. And uh, the positive thing about the justice is that you're going to do it in a very, very good, almost, um, almost perfect fashion. Additionally to that, the justice here points that that is the, um, the most, I don't want to say natural, but it is like a, uh, logical way how the things had to happen here. The justice, the law and the order are in order, right? And they are incorporating upon you, upon your life. And what happened here, that page, the whole thing that you are now detaching from this influence and being strong on your own is a result of your previous actions. It's a result of your previous decisions. It's a, it's a result of previous studying, learning, and etc. etc. For example, you learned to to be an IT specialist. Now you are making good amounts of money. You don't need your family any longer. Well, you don't need them to take care of you. It is what I mean. All right. So that is the most logical uh, thing that you just break. It's not breaking ties, but more like detaching from them, start living on your own, and etc. etc. The accompanied card is going to be the six uh, of wands here. 
<coughs> the formation, it is a active friends, and this is the understanding, you know, of how capable you are. It's uh, up until this point, it looks like that you live in some sort of a shade, okay, or it's some sort of a uh, mm, jamming that you had, uh, being um, being misjudged and being mis. It's not even mistreated, but let's say undervalued, okay. Uh, these are uh, no different than, um, I don't want to give that kind of an, an example, but it's the only thing that comes into my mind right now that say it's, uh, it's a job, for example, that you are in and your, your supervisor is telling you how, uh, how you don't stand for nothing, how little you worth in this kind of stuff, while in the same time you can go for a great things. And that will be a awakening here, recognition that you actually can, you actually are destined, excuse me, for great things. And that page will open your eyes for it. And the last one, it is the guidance here. And that is going to be the uh, strength card. So the strength card tells you that you shouldn't try to convince anybody with your words, right? Let your action speak instead. You need to take advantage or put into use your charisma, right? And your determination as well, that you will do what, I, uh, what, what you think is right. And whatever has to happen is going to happen. That way, those who are opposing you will have no chance but to resign about it. They will have no chance but to make peace with it. The accompanied card here is going to be the temperance. So the formation, it is a active supporters and through it, um, there won't be any, um, any pushes. There won't be any negative influences in it. It is because by you not sharing, you know, and not showing that it is like not showing, uh, well, it's not even showing, but it's more like feeding. It's not different than, for example, someone starts an argument with you and the best thing you can do is just give them a silent treatment. Otherwise, you are just feeding the argument. So you, you start dating with this person, your family does not approve it and they tell you, you got to decide me or, or that person. So then the most close to your mind thing is to start arguing with them or well, stop arguing with them do whatever you like i mean do start dating with this person and let your actions speak for themselves so that will leave them no choice but to make peace with it you know it's just it is what it is so yeah that being said leo this was your montita reading september 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, uh we're going to see each other around until then, bye.